don't know. I'm sorry. I had this whole thing of like, hi, welcome to my channel. You have come here from Casey's channel, welcome. And I don't honestly don't know what to say. Like, it's really cool that loads of you have come over from Casey's channel. It's really cool of Casey to have drawn me and linked to my stuff, give me a shout out. And honestly, I'm a bit overwhelmed. Every day I've been like, oh my God, oh my God. Just like that, mm -hmm. brilliant. Just a little bit of an informal introduction over here. That's what we do, we're informal. I'm Steph, I'm the average artist and I make book covers, I write, I'm an illustrator, graphic designer. I do a lot of things, YouTuber now, I guess. I mean, I've been a YouTuber for like four months, but I guess now I'm a YouTuber. Mm. So you're here because you like art. And what I thought I would do today is make a halfway sketchbook tour. What is that? What I thought I'd do is a halfway sketchbook tour and so you can kind of get an impression of who I am and if you like my style then you can stick around. I'm rambling, I'm a rambler. Welcome to the channel, yay! So let's get to it. Why halfway? Um, because I've got a lot of new subscribers and I thought it would be a good into a, a good into a. <laughs> Welcome to Steph's channel. A good way to introduce my art a little bit and also this sketchbook is 120 pages long. I counted because I'm sad and I am literally like 60 pages in. And that means I wouldn't really have much time to talk about each page and some of these pages I really like. Some of them are crap a doodles. Crap -a doodles. Why am I speaking like that? I'm sorry, some pages are rubbish and some pages are good. So I wanted to have time to speak about each page. Yes, we got it, we got it, we good. Okay, thanks. That's cold. One uh, heated up coffee later, let's get down to this. This was my first page and actually I started on the first page and some people are like no I start halfway through but I'm always like let's get this out the way and I did some hands and some people and yeah I like this page I think it's a good first page usually it's like you do one drawing and they're like ugh and you never return. I got this sketchbook from Lidl's and it was quite cheap. If you don't know what Lidl's is, it's basically like a, like a cheap supermarket kind of thing. And they have like, sometimes they have like household items and they had these sketchbooks and I was like, these are like fake moleskins. I love them. I wanna use them and make a review. And they're pretty good. I like the paper, but they're very thin. So you can only use one side because it bleeds through massively. So yeah, I know that's a bit cheatery of halfway tour. Even a halfway tour is kind of cheatery, but whatever. We're rolling with it. That's how we are on this channel. Anyway, some more girl drawings. I draw women a lot and I was just using like different copics and pens and trying to get the inspiration after starting a new sketchbook is quite difficult. You want it to be good. So there's a lot of pressure, but then you also just need to find the enjoyment of it as well. This one's a bad page. I hated this drawing. I don't even know what that is. And then I was reading the new Sakura card captor um, manga and I wanted to draw her. That's the standard guys, semi can, semi can't. And then I was practicing drawing hands because I feel like every couple of months I have to practice drawing hands or I kind of lose the knack. Hands are a blessing and a curse because I like drawing them and then I also don't. I think we all know that feel. Here was some studies of an aquarium that I went to, so a few fish drawings, and then there was just faces. I was like, oh, I should draw, you know, some faces, classic pencil kind of realism, but he looks a bit wonky, and I like her, but yeah, yeah, that's okay. Here we went to this castle, it's basically like a village within castle walls, and I was just drawing like that area. Another picture, I don't even know what that noise was outside. Okay, more girl faces, nothing to write home about here. Oh, this was the castle that I mentioned before. If you want to see me draw this, there's going to be a lot of this, by the way, of me saying, if you want to see this, there's a video of it. And this is kind of the view from here because it was it's on a mountain. These were some in-jokes from that video. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, I skipped a good page. You guys are going to be liking this one. So I live in Gibraltar, which is a British territory, and it, next to us is Spain, and they have lots of villages which is like this but this was kind of partially partially made up partially um, copied from a photo not copied but referenced and I quite like doing that that was fun and it's a good solid page I think there 
This was the start of hourly comic day. Um, if you don't know what hourly comic day is, basically you draw um, a panel of a comic every hour about what you did that hour. So these are on my Instagram if you want to look at them closer, but I'll just flick through them. This was also about the time that I was becoming a pescatarian where I, I don't eat meat but I eat fish because uh, fish is too hard not to eat. Like all my favorite food isn't fish. But yeah, I, I have the uh, the meat guilt, so I can't eat meat. More hourlies. Like I said, I'll just skip through these. Watching Dragon Ball Super, which is Aces, if you haven't seen that, check it out, it's pretty good. Taking me right back to the childhood feels, you know. Descend into Madness, classic, standard. Um, yeah, so more panels. Oh, this was a drawing. <laughs> good explanation. Thanks for coming, guys. Please like and subscribe. No, this was um, a witch doodle that I was doing. I like drawing girls. I think that's pretty obvious, and um, these colours. I think I went too far with the colours here, though. They're too dark, but I don't mind them. They may be a bit bright, and the hair I like. I don't know. It's okay. I like this drawing. <laughs> we were watching a dubbed version of Dragon Ball Super and at one point they referred to the Dragon Balls as the wishing jewels and it was like, do you even know what show you're translating here? And I thought that was really funny. And this is that gang that I can't remember the name of. Comment down below the name of these guys if you know it. I cannot remember, it's his name. Pilaf Gang. Haha! -ha! I surprised my brain. Yes. And then I was just, I remember drawing these, I was in a restaurant and it was really loud and I hate loud places. Does anybody else have that feel? Like, ugh, can't be arsed. So I was like drawing, but everything I was drawing was like, nyeh, nyeh. Oh, this was my witch sona. Um, that is in a video somewhere, but people were drawing their witch sonas and I wanted to, so I did. And there's some sushi, because I love sushi. And yes, um, Hufflepuff scarf, because I'm a Hufflepuff. In case you couldn't tell that, <laughs> in case. Gigi's deciding to go to the toilet now, so we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Um, Gigi is my cat, by the way. I wasn't just announcing somebody in my household going to the toilet. Um, anyway, back to sketchbook tour. Oh, I wanted to do another hourly comic just because I quite like the other one, how it turned out. Here we go. Um, here we go. What am I saying? This was for a Casey prompt. I call it a Casey prompt. We all know Casey does her prompt challenge. And this one was um, Serenity and Skateboard. So I started doodling like stuff and then nothing came to me. So then I just started doing random stuff. Like Nerdy Dracula, for instance, down here. What's that about, brain? You're trying to think of Serenity and Skateboard, but you come up with Nerdy Dracula. And then I drew this Serenity, the spaceship, and I was like, that's so clever. Ha ha, I'm such a nerd. Ha ha ha. And then I was like, how am I going to relate that to Skateboard? You're dumb. But then I liked drawing it, so I drew it anyway. Gigi's now eating. This is a turd page, as you can see, so we're skimming on through. It was my dad's birthday like a couple of months ago. He's a couple or a month, I can't remember. And um, I was waiting for him, so I was just doodling the outside. Nothing special. I'm gonna wait for Gigi to stop eating. Okay, that seriously felt like an age of him eating. He's a really big cat, by the way. Oh yeah, so waiting for dad, just sketching outside. Um, might have got drunk at the party and tried to draw people and failed horribly. They just looked janky. We went for lunch and I drew that and I didn't like it. These were like some sketches that I was working on for a comic that I was gonna do called Adventure Kingdom because I thought that was a good idea and then I was like, um, Adventure Time is a very similar name. You know, um, I didn't really work on it so it's a bit of a fail. I am actually very confused. Gigi's gone back to his litter tray. I think he's trying to sabotage this video. Um, I drew the house in the kind of the style that I was looking at. I might insert um, some panels of this comic that I've done. Then I was messing around with shapes using coloured pencil and a Copic and I quite like this page. I like some of the characters. These are my pages of sharks. Um, I got into this phase now of drawing sharks, um, derpy sharks and really liking it. And this one is me. What's my life? Um, I wanted to do maybe like a current faves video because 
I would like quite like to see somebody else do that. Can we make that a thing, art tubers? Can we do my current phase but like drawing them? Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, mine was. <laughs> This is mine, um, chia seeds, because I became veggie, so I was like, I should eat something to, to boost my protein and stuff. I don't know, there's protein in everything though, so I'm, I'm pretty dumb. I got this rock salt lamp for mega cheap, and I really like it, and a humidifier, which has stopped Chris from sneezing. He has massive allergies, and it really helped. So if you have allergies, seriously, give that a shot, the humidifiers. Hey, um, I probably said that wrong, but that's hello in Swedish. Don't at me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I was just doodling. Doodle page, doodle page. So, doodle page that didn't work out. This one was super sulk page. You can even see that I've inscribed here, I don't wanna draw. And I don't know why I pushed myself to because, ugh. Oh, I like this one. But yeah, I was just playing around with colored pencils and different paints and stuff. Oh, this is Tower and Sand Timer. This was a Casey prompt as well. I have a video of this one up, so if you want to check that out, check that out. I have explanations to it in that video if you're interested. This was this is my character from that comic that was previously, you know, stuck down there. And I was thinking, like, I need to do turnarounds and stuff because before I started working on it, I just went for it because I was lazy and also inspired and I just wanted to go for it, but yeah. Um, why? Indeed. An owl. He's very cute. I don't mind him. And then I did this doodle, which inspired this one, which I quite liked. She's okay. She's aight. Um, I think this was probably waiting for something. I can't remember. We were like looking at cars. Yeah, not sure. These are my fishies. I did a watercolour underneath and then I did all of the fish in pencil, coloured pencil, and then I went over it in inks and then I did a few different colours to sort of separate them and give, add depth and stuff. Yeah, I quite like that one. This was inspired by something but I cannot remember, so I'm sorry. If you know what it is then let me know down below, but it's sort of my own version anyway, but it was inspired by like some a girl standing in a garden. And I like this one because you see like it's not blended out, but I I quite like that for certain pieces. Obviously not all the time, but I think it works here. Random doodle, more watercolors, just messing around and poskas. These were some experiment things because I was starting to realize that I really liked the way watercolors looked on this paper. So I did a couple of like sort of color tests, background tests kind of thing. And then I just did an experiment piece. So this is similar to that one that I did previously with the pencils and the watercolors, the blobby shapes. And I wanted to see how it layered, like if I could layer it. Quite like this one as well. It's all right, it was fun to do. Oh, we come to the masterful page. Um, you guys might have seen Casey's stream where she messes up um, characters and this one was the Donkey Kong character. And I kept suggesting Alien Kong, but she didn't want to do it. Um, and I was like, I'll do it myself. And I realized why she didn't want to do it because have you seen, like, what is this? And then <laughs> the people were asking for Ferrari Kong. <laughs> uh, I draw it, I draw it, I draw it. Oh, this was watching Dina's stream, and she was like, draw along with me. And I was like, okay, I can do it, Dina. And I was like, I can't draw like you, put off <laughs> for life. No, it, it, this guy was inspired by her drawing, so I was just seeing if I could do a little guy. But then I was like too into the chat and stuff, so I didn't really finish it. And then I didn't really do anything with this page, so. So I was about that. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is the start of my comic, five hour comic challenge. You might've seen that video. There's a video up there and I had to create like a comic in five hours. So the characters, backgrounds, all that malarkey. And yeah, that was like the idea page that I scribbled down quick. In case you couldn't tell, I basically live in a cattery. I have three cats and they are constantly like waiting, biding their time for me to start filming. And then they're like, it's party time. Yeah, so I did some watercolors and these are the characters that came up. If you want more in-depth descriptions of this stuff, this is still the comic challenge, then go check out that video. It'll probably link after this video. So like character studies, yeah, more character studies, background, thumbnails, and then I did the final thing. And I decided that I really liked the way it looked on this paper. Again, with the watercolors on this like smooth texture that isn't very absorbent, I liked that style, so 
and then I want to draw him again and I really like the sheep the sheep character I kind of made up on the spot and I was like it's hilarious and yeah and then I never drew them again <laughs> more circly blobby things because I don't know why I don't know why Oh, this was for Casey's prompt again. I was like, maybe I'll draw like a realistic Cleopatra and a donkey in the back. A donkey? A camel! A camel in the background. And yeah, again, um, I sometimes have these great ideas at, you know, 11 o'clock at night. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do it. And then I realise I'm super busy and I don't get around to it. More derpy sharks. But I was thinking like, maybe I'll do like, you know, the derpy sharks on stuff. But then I'm like, do people like sharks? Are they a bit scary? Uh, this is my character from my book. So I've recently written a book. I harp on about it a lot. If you want to check it out, it's in the link down below. But yeah, she's like a warrior woman. I drew her here. And um, this was backstage. I um, helped out with a play. I'm actually still doing the drama festival. So I'm watching plays every night for a week. And it's really fun. More doodles whilst waiting for the play. This was a video I made last week and it's about my characters from my book. So we're coming to the end and it turned out to come out like this. You might have seen that video. If not, again, you can check it out. I'll link it afterwards. So this was just studies of trying to create that piece. And then uh, I wonder if you've seen Casey's newest video, if you wonder what this is. Um, yesterday I was waiting for the place to start, so I was just doodling with the new Puskas that we had. It's a little kitty on a windowsill. And that's it, that's the halfway point. So I will make another video of this, probably in a couple of months. Don't know, depends. Oh my God, why can't I shut it? And yeah, so that's that. Ooh, the, uh, has a little pocket in the back, which is quite good. And then there's bits of paper as well. I think these were like, yeah, these are those um, drawings that I did with the shapes when I got into them. And then on the back, I didn't realize is an old comic um, rough ideas. I was playing Zelda at the time and I would always mess up the button to um, like hit with and I would throw my weapon. And I remember once just throwing my weapon down a mountainside and being like, well, <laughs> screw you and then I got absolutely destroyed and that's the story of my life so thanks for watching this sketchbook tour tell me what you think if you like my stuff tell me what you think if you don't like my stuff please don't tell me what you think <laughs> thanks for watching so see you next time <laughs>